Hello everyone, my name is Ripley and today we are building a trailer in Strangerville which I gotta admit that this trailer ended up looking a little bit ugly like I was considering not uploading this build but then the more I built on it I kinda was like I kinda wanna embrace the ugly, I kinda like that the trailer is a little ugly on the outside I love how it looks on the inside but on the outside it didn't really look exactly how I wanted it to look like originally I had this idea that the outside was gonna be this beautiful like a baby blue color but we don't have really any baby blue kind of metal wallpaper like I really looked for a long time after it and I couldn't really find anything that I liked so instead I chose to make the door a little bit more blue it's not that baby blue color that I wanted but it's pretty close and then I used this university windows which are super pretty actually they really fit this build i've never used them before i think but i really like how they looked on this build on this trailer i thought they really fit in and those windows go between white and red so many times but they do end up on the red swatch but i think it looks really nice especially on the outside on the inside i kind of wish that the windows were white but i think that they look really nice on the outside as like a color accent right and now we're doing the inside the inside is in total seven by three so the bathroom is one by three and the entire living area is a six by three room and i really like how the inside looked it didn't look too cramped like it didn't feel cramped and that was something that was super important to me that it wouldn't feel cramped even if you seems only have like i think it's five tiles that they can move around on it still feels very like open and like your sims can move around it, is a, it doesn't feel super tight which is I'm super happy that it got that feel and I really really like how the inside turned out in the end the bathroom is it's kind of boring I mean it's just a tiny white bathroom it doesn't need to be much and there isn't much but it's kind of like I think that the living area is really where this build shines and then I added in those blue like shutter things, which I know that the windows have their own shutters, so you technically like the blue ones doesn't really make sense. But again, I thought it was a nice like decorational piece that kind of make the build look a little bit more interesting. So I chose to have them, and I think they look really nice. And then I used this debug strange reveal fence, which I thought looks really nice as well. Uh, we are in the trailer park in Strangerville, so I kind of wanted the outside area of this trailer to kind of match the other trailers. So the other trailers have this fence, and the other trailers also have this kind of like grass rug thing that's in debug, which these are in Strangerville debug if you want them. They were like perfect when I found them, because at first I was just gonna use like a grass tile from uh, build mode, but then I found these and I was like, oh these are perfect, exactly what I wanted So I was super happy that I found them and um, And they also match the other trailers which are super super great And with the landscaping of this build, I did wear minimal landscaping because we are in a trailer park Had I built this lot on like a separate lot, then it would have been different, then I could have done more landscaping but because we are in the trailer park, I really had to kind of have the area in mind. I couldn't add a lot of landscaping because it doesn't have a lot of landscaping around it. I added some cacti and some, like a little bush. That's it, because I really didn't want to. I guess I just really wanted this build to look like it fits in here and like it's always been here. I would imagine that this is someone that probably lives here full time so I really just wanted it to look like it's actually supposed to be here and a lot of landscaping wouldn't have fit in with that kind of vibe and doing the kitchen I actually really like the size of this kitchen I thought that maybe I was only gonna do like a counter, a stove and the fridge and then let the sink only be in the bathroom but I did end up putting a sink in the kitchen and I think it looks really nice and it doesn't really make the area feel more cramped I really like the size of the kitchen and then I used that seasons bed which I actually absolutely love now I used to hate it but now I've been using it a lot more and I actually think it looks really pretty which is kind of a surprise <laughs> and for the dining room I used to use those eco lifestyle 
hidden table and shares. Those shares are either you can find them in dumpsters, but if you also put in BB dot show hidden objects uh, in the sheets part, then they will pop up in your build and buy catalogs. And then I ended up, I thought about adding in like a, an armchair, but then I thought, well, maybe a dresser would be more useful. So we have a dresser and a mirror in the main living area because I also thought that, well, your sims can relax on the bed if they want to. Which by the bed, we also have a TV and a stereo. The bookcase function of the TV doesn't work because the because the bed is blocking it. Like the radio and TV aspect is completely fine and you can see and your sims can use that freely. Um, and moving on to the bathroom, the bathroom is kind of boring like I said, it's just white bathroom, a few details here and there, but we also have that metal wall on the back, which is from the roofing, which uh, usually the roofing doesn't clip through like that, or like you can usually draw a wall and it's fine, but they didn't want to do that today, and I don't really know why, but I don't think it's the end of the world. I think it still looks nice, and it's just a simple bathroom, it does what it needs to do, but it's not more than that. I think that where this build really shines is the living area. Uh, moving on to the outside later on, I think that the, the outside actually ended up looking cute. I mean it's ugly but it's cute and I kind of like that vibe. Like I said, I did not really know if I was going to upload this build but at the end I really liked the vibe that this build had. So I hope you guys enjoyed this build. I actually think that like, it wasn't at all what I had planned when I sat down to build this, but I think it ended up looking kind of interesting regardless. And then lastly, I'm just adding in a few more details, some pictures and a rug and some a few more stuff to really tie this build together, add the finishing touches. And I also ended up putting a laptop in here as that was needed. And this build is actually only 18 Okay, it's only 18,000, so this is actually a starter home, which wasn't my plan at all. But when I had finished building, it was like 18,000 and like 7 simoleons, I think. So this is a starter home, you can move in here with your sims immediately if you would want to. Uh, you don't need to cheat or anything to get this build. And this build does fit 1 to 2 sims, depending if your sims can scoot or not. But with that said, we are about to jump into the tour, so if you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you all very very soon. Ripley out! Yeah.